Hello and welcome to the next tutorial in my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about how you can use Tailwind for Instagram. Now you've already seen a video of this on my blog already, but I'm going to talk about a few extra features that Tailwind has added which makes posting to Instagram not just useful and easy, but extremely convenient. Now let's start. You go into your Instagram account and click on the draft section. This is the publisher section. Click on the draft section and upload a photo or a video. Now I already have a photo available here. So it is cropped to Instagram's specifications, which is a square image. So I'm going to just wait. Always remember that for social media, you can upload a PNG image. Whereas on your blog posts, it's better you upload a JPEG image. PNG images are slightly high quality, which perform better for social media. On your blog, try and use JPEG images. Now, here are some of the features I really liked. Now, let's say you are talking about, in this particular case, I'm talking about uh, setting up a declutter challenge, okay, decluttering your desktop challenge. So I'm going to just say, um, this is how I recommend that you declutter your desktop. You can make spaces, create paragraphs, and Instagram, Tailwind will post it to Instagram exactly as you create it. Now, here are a couple of new features that I, actually three new features which I really enjoyed and I really appreciated. One is the concept of saved hashtags. Now, let's say I have all these things, but so the minute I use the word declutter, as you can see, all these suggested hashtags popped up. I'm just gonna add all of them. Uh, declutter, organizing, uh, simplify, organized, organized. Now I can save these hashtags. All I need to do is click here and name it, say the declutter hashtag or the decluttering hashtag. Okay. And what that does is it saves it as the hashtag list. Now, the good news is these hashtags will be saved as a default option whenever you create a similar post on decluttering in the future. Here is the even more interesting thing. As you can see, it gives me the option to choose from one of the saved hashtags. List. I've called, created one for entrepreneurs, one for productivity. Now, I can actually post the hashtags in the first comment. This is beautiful because it doesn't clutter up your caption. It leaves it free for you to create exactly what content you want to create. But remember, the same 2200 character count limit applies even if you post your captions, uh, hashtags in the first comment. Okay. The next thing I like is adding an emoji. I love the fact that I can do it directly from Tailwind now. I don't have to search through my emojis online to do this. So this is the really important thing. I have uh, tick marks. I have so many things. What is frequently used so it knows. Okay. That's it. And then all I need to do is if I, if I choose, I can also amplify it to Pinterest, which means this will get posted to Pinterest as well. And you can even share it to my Facebook page. And all, I, all I have to do is say, add to queue. And that's it. It gets added to my queue. We're done. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial.